Good morning you guys, it's Karen. I know I am looking a bit odd because I've got this weird beanie on but I just put it on for the Amazon video that I just did over on the beauty channel and if I take it off my hair will be messed up. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep it on for now while I do this video. Um, I just wanted to come and give you an idea of what's going on weight wise because I've no idea the last time I, I talked to you guys. I think I might have been, was I 84 kilos last time I spoke to you guys? I was certainly 84 kilos when I went back onto keto um, and I have been doing keto ever since and doing okay on it in that I got down to 81 kilos so I lost six pounds so what's that nearly half a stone probably seven pounds actually so half a stone um, but I was still doing naughty keto if you like in that I was still having snacks every night I haven't got out of that habit and because I'm on keto there's not the same health um concerns do you remember i had the last thing we talked about was me having the potential diabetes and i didn't have it but i've still got hyperinsulinemia i'm still one step away from diabetes and i'm still in that frame frame of mind of i need to change something um, and the thing that i need to change is eating snacks and drinking every night but when you're on keto it's different because you don't put weight on for me if i eat like the little cheesy things that i make on keto and have a, a bacardi every night i don't put on weight i just don't lose any but it doesn't adversely affect my health if that makes sense because you burn the fat off and keto is a really good thing for blood sugar problems so i've been doing it quite happily and we were actually being really good alcohol wise before the whole virus lockdown thing happened and then my, my husband and i are terrible if one of us is like oh that's it i've had a terrible day i'm gonna have a drink the other one will and like i said we don't we're not getting drunk we're just having one or maximum two drinks but it's still too much you shouldn't be having that i would like to not drink in the week and just drink at the weekends um and like i said when i drink i then have snacky things with it and if i don't have the cheesy things i'll have some kind of nuts um which means that i eat enough that i don't put weight on but i don't lose so overall like i said i was doing okay because i did get down to 81 kilos so i did lose half a stone I then had one night where it was a weekend night where I had three Bacardis and that the problem with that is your decisions are different when you've had a few drinks you know and I was like oh, I really fancy some crisps or something and so I went and had these little a little bag of crinkly you know the Jacobs things you eat Jacobs cheese I can't think what they're called the tiny little biscuits with holes in them well I get the crinkly flavored ones of those cheese and onion flavored and I had a bag of those could not believe it the following day I'd put on two pounds that's typical for me you know carbs are just not my friend at all <laughs> um so I went back to keto and then got back down to 81 kilos very quickly um but now with the whole shopping has become a nightmare because you can only buy a maximum of three things and we normally buy like lots of almond milk for example I buy six almond milks a week and you have to queue up and you don't know if they're going to have everything in and to get a lot of keto things is actually quite difficult at the moment meat is really difficult to get hold of and so we've decided to we would sit down and write a list of everything in the freezer everything in the cupboard everything in the fridge and see what meals we could get out of them and so we've got 10 days worth of meals well eight now because it was two days ago and i'm back to, not on keto anymore i would say um I'm still eating low carb so actually my breakfast and lunch hasn't changed I'm having a keto shake in the morning a piece of salmon for lunch or I'll have you know any of the other things I was eating on keto but the meals we're eating in the evening are not keto and I'm obviously because I'm not on keto I need to stop drinking cream like I did and or having cream in my coffee and things like that um so now is the time now I'm not on keto where I need to not have anything in the evening because not being on keto it will be bad for me in those cheese ones i don't know whether that will make sense to a lot of people but you, if you eat fat on keto you burn fat for the most part um, but if you're not on keto then that fat will lay down and it's not good fat so i need to not be eating the cheese in the evening um other than maybe like i said i will allow myself a bag of crisps at the weekend or something um so i i weighed myself yes was yesterday the first full day of no not yesterday, the day before was the first full day of carbs and I did put on a pound overnight but then yesterday we didn't drink and we didn't have snacks last night and I lost that pound again. Things move very quickly with me weight-wise. Um, so I'm now just under 82 
82 kilos. But I would say after the weekend, it'll probably go up to 83, if not 84. Um, and I'm doing a lot of exercise as well because I did two and a half hours walking with Watson yesterday, one in the morning, one in the evening. I was quite impressed that my knees held up, but I've not got, gone up any hills or anything, you know, because it's, it's fairly local. And I've been strapping up my knees with KT tape. I feel like I'm a bit all over the place in this video. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of walking yesterday and like I said, didn't have any alcohol or snacks last night. Um, so that's kind of where I am. Um, I feel like every time I get on the right path, something comes along to, to hinder me. And in this instance, it's the virus, because like I said, we were doing really well and weren't drinking at all in the week. And then the virus hit. And the reason it's so stressful is Kev has got to furlong his staff. He had to choose which staff to, you know, let go and which, which ones to furlong. And, and also he's on a list that you know some of the directors are also going to get either let go or furlonged and so we're worried about money we're worried about our house because our house has no value at the moment because of the whole Grenfell thing um my parents I'm having to try and well my dad is the only one that lives near enough for me to help but I've been trying to do his shopping which was just quite stressful in itself and you know there's just the whole worry of it all I'm sure we're all worried that just kind of was like right whatever this week this first week of lockdown um he said I'm having a beer at night and so that's me I was like right I'll be having a Bacardi then <laughs> and so yeah there always seems to be something to sort of throw me off course which is really just excuses again I said before it's really just excuses but I'm okay with where I'm at at the moment because I'm not because I wasn't diabetic, I haven't gone, right, okay, that's fine, I'll go back to eating what I was eating before. And I haven't had a McDonald's since. I know they've been shut since the lockdown, but even the week before that, I was just like, no, no, it, it's time to forget that McDonald life, if you like, you know, and I've made sandwiches or made a chicken salad. I've had a lot of chicken and bacon salads and taken them with us, you know. I've made my own bread when I was on keto and whatnot. So um, I feel like I'm on a much better path just now. And if I go up over this period because of the virus then so be it because it's the right thing to do is for me to use up the food I've got and not have yet another trip to the supermarket you know the idea is we're not supposed to be going more than once a week um I think that's everything to tell you that's where I'm at I, I've done a few Pilates videos at home um I haven't loved them I've had a little bit of a dance around the house to myself when Kev's on days where Kev does the lunchtime walk I've really enjoyed that so I'm trying to like download some more music and get myself playlists together and whatnot so that I'm moving on most days you know either walking Watson or doing some dancing in the house um, and that will help hopefully so yeah let me know how you guys are doing has this lockdown or, or the virus changed what you're eating um, because like I said it's not as easy to get the exact things that you want to eat is it um, and that's everything thank you so much for watching today I hope that you guys are doing well stay safe and I'll speak to you again soon